Hi, this is Neil Turbin, and you're watching The Metal Voice. And over here we have the amazing singer from Loudness, Minoru Nihara. Hello, how are you? From the band Loudness. I've been a fan of Loudness for almost as long as you guys have been a band. Okay, well, that means I've thought you five years. Almost. Yeah, almost. Uh, 1983, mm -hmm. 1982, yeah. around that time. And the Devil Soldier, oh. Law of Devil's Land. Wow, how did you get those live, albums? Loud Alive, well, imported? I knew a friend who had a record, who worked for a record store and he had imports from Japan. Wow, must, must be uh, expensive. Then. <laughs> yes, and I also had, um, you know, 44 Magnum and Earthshaker. Wow. So I know, Japanese heavy I, I like the Japanese heavy metal very much. <laughs> cool. I'm a big fan of um, bands from all over the world. Okay. And, you know, Loudness was just like a band that I heard, and when, you know, you had bands like Van Halen, and I know Akira Takasaki, he was compared to Eddie Van Halen. Well, he was a big influence by Van Halen, obviously, but, you know. I'm just going to say it. I like, I like Akira way better than Van Halen. <laughs> I just wanted to ask you, um, so how does it feel to be touring in the United States 30, 35 years later, um, anniversary? Amazing, amazing. Very many um, hardcore fans of loudness. They were watching for us for a long time to see our show. You know, uh, I was touching by their passion. You know, it's, it's always great to be here and play for them. Yeah, we're enjoying the matches. And it's great, great to see you guys. Mm -hmm. Last night was an awesome show. It was a full house of the whiskey. I mean, totally Oh, bad. wow, yeah, the crowd was great. The band sounded great, and you were in top form, and you were just knocking them out. Oh, okay, thank you. My favorite singer, Otis Redding. Sure. With the Rhythm Blues, a singer. He made a live album, which is called, yeah, Live at the Whiskey and Little Dog. When I was uh, 17 years old, I was listening to the album all the time. I wanted to be singing on the stage someday. You know? Then Dream came true last night. That's the first time you played with the whiskey? Oh yeah, yeah, it was. Wow, that's amazing. So, you know, I was singing and at the same time I felt like, wow, you know, the same stage as Otis already did, you know. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Otis Redding too. I like this, these arms of mine and oh, songs yes. like that. Yeah, so cool. I could just imagine 19, oh, yes. 1966, that's when I think he recorded. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. and it was like a five day run that he did. Yeah, like five I'm days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, Otis was one of those guys who just oh, had that yes. okay. soul and that vibe as a oh, singer, as a, as a showman, a front man. Oh yeah. But I find that so cool. To sh thank you for sharing that with everybody because it's so cool to know your influence and Oh, yes, what I was Who would have thought that? Yeah, you know? student of college. I was singing in a band, you know, this band. I was singing uh, all this way, Sam Cooke, James Brown style. I love that. <laughs> yeah, when I was doing something like that. Before starting, even before starting the hardest things, you know. Starting, you know, before starting, you know. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not, not every day that you expect to talk to a heavy metal band that's known for playing heavy metal. Oh, they, yeah. say, they say that they are influenced by, you know, the soul singers, but great soul singers. Yeah, yeah, of course, because our area uh, where we grew up, soul music was happening. So, you know, why not? How cool. I think for the interview, just to make sure that we're talking about, you know, what Loudness is doing today. And, you know, obviously you're on a U.S. tour, 35th anniversary. Oh, yes, yeah. And you guys just uh, released a repackaged Thunder in the East. Tell us about that. Uh, when we opened for Molly Crew tour in 1985, they were trying to make a uh, documentary film. And they were filming, <coughs> making, you know, pulling us to make a uh, documentary in 1985. Uh, and then that documentary never came out because the whole film was disappeared somehow. And yeah, that's what we've been told. But they found the whole film in this year. I think it's a 30th anniversary, found you in this album, let's, let's do everything <laughs> all together. Wow, that's so, amazing. Yeah, so um, uh, the package has uh, the film of the whole tour of uh, uh, the United States in 1985, and also they have a demo tape, demo songs 
for band doing this album. Oh, nice. I, I was singing in Japanese. Oh, I like Crazy it. Night and stuff like that. Well, you, well, you, were, you were singing in Japanese on the early loudness album. Oh, yeah. I, I did. love it. Devil Soldier, Love oh, Devil's yeah. Land. Uh -huh. So, so if we had a core of fans of Lavis, you'll be enjoying those uh, fun readings parts. Well, but um, what I wanted to ask you was, as far as back in the days of, let's say, 1985, 86, I know when Mike Basira joined Loudness. Okay. Um, I know one of the questions Jimmy had said to me was to uh, ask you about that. And I guess, you know, 35 years, you know, relationships change and things happen. Of course, yeah. So I just wondered, you know, what happened back then and oh, what well, did you feel back then? Uh, yeah, well, before starting, uh, you know, which album was that? Uh, Soldier of Fortune album. <coughs> okay, well, before starting recording, uh, I just uh, thought he worked from me. <laughs> so uh, actually, they kicked me out in 1988. Some, something like that, and then um, uh, I had to leave the band. I didn't want to, but you know, they wanted to change the singer. So uh, I, I could not do anything about that. So I left the band, and then they auditioned many singers. It took for one year or two years to get a new singer. And then and eventually, uh, my professor got that uh, replaced for me. And, um, they recorded a couple of albums, two albums, and then uh, I started to my own stuff, 1990s. And when you rejoined Loudness? Uh, 2000, yeah. So it was quite a period of time. Yeah, it? well, yeah. Uh, after 10 years, I left. Uh, Akio called me up and then uh, it was like 20th anniversary. Loudness, so maybe we can do something for that. And then, uh, 2000, in, in, in 2000, we okay, united well, uh, origin that I know of Loudness. And, and Munitaka Haguchi. I love this drum, he's so amazing. So strong that yeah. drum. Yeah. And it was sad to lose him, but he definitely oh, left oh, his, uh, his, his mark in, in music. And, you know, yeah. So. yeah, well, he's a very professional. Yeah. He's he's sort of the most tough guy. Oh, really? I mean, he's a very perfectionist and professional. Uh, if I sing in band, he's through sticks or even the cymbals. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, you know, so, but, but he wanted to be to sing it better. So, so that's what raised the bar. Oh, yeah. Like, improved my singing by his, you know, so, so maybe like live, 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 for um, example, maybe that's why one of the reasons you guys are so yeah. tight and so professional. Oh, yeah, well, and and we, we talk about. Yeah, cool. practice every day. Was, every day? Seven oh, days? Oh, every day, is, yeah. How many hours a day? Uh, at least five hours. Every day? Every day. Every day, for how long of a period was this? Well, from noon, oh. How many, was it years? Was it, did you take it? Well, well, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, just you know, practice every day. Wow. Well, for three years or five or four years. Every day. Every five day. Years. That's our ordinary that's routine. That's serious practice. Oh yes. That's like that's like uh, like I Pra practice I and also making songs. We made songs. You know. So uh, yeah, we we were in studio all the time. That's a serious sure. commitment. I mean, five, I think more five hours every single day. Every single day as well. Did anyone, anyone have children, like kids, but families? Not like them? No, no, we were all single. Okay. So. so you could do that. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, what what an exciting and honor for me to speak with you today. I mean, oh, I'm just very so very uh, honored, and I've been a fan of loudness for you know, like I said, since like 1982, 83. How old are you? 51. Okay, <laughs> a little bit younger than me. Okay. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about um, next steps for, for Loudness. I mean, after you go back to Japan or you're done with here in the States, is there other touring? Oh, we, we're going to Europe. Okay. After this tour. So you're going right to Europe? Oh, uh, we go back to Japan for a week. Okay. And then we're going to uh, Europe, do a couple of shows in the Greece, in the Czech Republic, back to Japan, and we're going to start Japan tour. As far as uh, you know, plans for new recordings, new album, is there any well, thoughts on that? Well, we haven't done anything, but uh, Akira got some ideas a lot. Okay. Um, he, he was telling me 50 
songs ideas yeah. he's got already. Yeah. So there you heard it, 50 song ideas. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for listening to The Metal Voice. This is Neil Turbin, my Naro Nuhara from Thank Loudness. You. Thank you.